Hi, welcome to FaroArm and Autodesk Power Inspect tutorial series. In the previous video, we have measured some features of the block plate. In this video, we are going to see how to align the component and set its own origin. While measuring any component, we have to first make the component immovable. In the previous video, we have seen that we have fixed the component to surface table using a glue gun. Now we have to make the measurements in the software. Basically, we are trying to set the origin of the component. This way, we will be able to measure length with diameters with respect to the origin. From the sequence tree, we can see the features we have measured. Let us expand the features and see. The X, Y and Z values that we see are the coordinate points with respect to the machine origin. That is, they are the distances from the ferro arm location. If ferro arm was at a different distance from the component, these values would have been different. You can see the changes by sticking the block plate at a different distance and rechecking the values. However, it would be good to choose the origin on the component itself. This is exactly what we are trying to do using alignment. We are going to view these values again after alignment. Let us fix the component using the items we have measured. To fix the position of a part in 3D space, we must lock its three axes of translation and three axes of rotation. The simplest method of doing this is to measure six points on three of the part surfaces. 3 points to define a plane, 2 points to define an axis, 1 point to define a position. This is called the 3 to 1 rule. Geometric PLP alignment is based on this rule. We have all the features already measured except the line. I am going to create a line using 2 points measured. Here in the dialog box, it shows center of circle 1 and center of circle 2. Click OK. Now we have a line. Click on Geometric PLP tool. PLP stands for Plane, Line and Point. Choose the Plane, Line and Point. I am considering the center of circle 1 as my point. After the alignment, let us check the values of the features. We can see that the circle 1 center is showing XYZ values as 0, 0, 0. All the other coordinate point values too have changed. They are showing XYZ distances from circle 1. Let us try to understand what we have done in a better way. Consider the CAD model of block plate. It is now free to move. We have to fix this using PLP. Using the 3 to 1 principle, we have restricted its position by considering 6 points. Three points are in the top surface defining the plane. Two points represent the line and one point that is center restricts the movement. If we consider 12 degrees of freedom, considering positive and negative translation and clockwise and anticlockwise rotation, three more degrees of freedom are left. These are restricted using clamps in real world measurement. Now going back to the measured points, we can see that we have selected the origin in the same way. We are now ready to measure various entities like length, width, distances between circles, etc. Let us continue the report generation in the next video. 